This thing at the end uh, basically stands for hide navigation. So I can remove this navigation uh, pop up here, and if I click back in, right. So this is your entire network. Uh, all right. Now let's. So this was this section. Now let's look at um, another important section, which I feel is your layout section here. All right. So layout uh, actually gives uh, you the various layout or the representation of um, the network. So now if I click on grid layout, you can see here. All right. Uh, you can see the it has been changed. The layout has been changed into grids. If I change it into hierarchical layout, um, yeah, it's going to give me the hierarchical representation of uh, this same uh, network here. See, it, it gives me the hierarchical representation, the ones like right? this is the root and this is all at the, uh, these are the branches which is coming out. Uh, then I have the circular layout, so it gives me the circle form. And then I have the stacked uh, node layout, which is there one or the other. Uh, my preferred layout is always, uh, as it says here, apply preferred layout. So whatever the applied preferred layout, it comes as there. Now this is completely depending upon how your network is and how you want the representation of your network to be. Right? Uh, if you if you feel that using circular layout, your network looks better, you can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this was your entire uh, layout um, uh, section here. Okay. Um, now uh, the next thing is. Uh, all right, now let's see if there are no uh, self loops or anything. So I can go to edit, I can remove the self loops. Okay, um, sheet one, this is what the sheet one is all about. No self loops, okay. All right, I think there were no self loops, so uh, that's why I did not give any pop up uh, about that. All right, uh, now you can actually see that uh, there, this is one hub, okay. Uh, uh, and probably somewhere in the middle here, there is uh, another hub. Can you see this? So these are all uh, hub which are there. Now uh, let's represent this uh, hub means in a very different way. Okay. Uh, how we do that is uh, by this section here. Okay. So you have networks, you have styles, and uh, you have filters. All right. Uh, so for uh, this is the network uh, section where it shows you. Um, your, um, so this is the network uh, panel here. It shows you what exactly is the network. When you click on styles, now here using styles, you can completely change how the network really looks like. Okay, so the style here is default. If I click on this, you will see n number of style options which will be given. All right, yeah, so you can see a number of style options. You have big labels, bio packs, default, default black, curve. Okay, so let's, uh, let me just select one. Let me select this, all right, bio packs, um, SIF. So once you see, you will see, yeah. Can you see the representation of the network being changed? Uh, if probably I want uh, something else, uh, let's say I want, um, sample uh let's do let's go to default black so default black uh, you might see yeah you might see a more colored form of the thing uh now so this is how uh, uh you can choose any um uh, any style which you want for the for your network i will stick to only uh, the default one because i find it comfortable to use it um all right now uh, let's start with fill color yeah all right so if i click on this and if i click on fill color click on yellow all right yeah all your nodes have changed this color to yellow okay uh then if i let's say change the shape uh and i click on um, eclipse here so and i click on apply so all the nodes change its uh, shape into elliptical shape all right so this is how you can actually change the color okay of uh, your network you can change the shape of your network based on how you really want it to. all right uh, you can also change the color of your labels here if you uh, want that is completely based on uh, your choice now it has changed into red okay so this is how you could uh, you can change the colors for your various network depending uh, for all the network depending on how uh, you would want it all right uh yeah so uh the another thing what you can do is uh now okay. now let's change uh, the color back to blue for simplicity all right 
uh, yeah. So uh, now, as I told you, this is your hub gene, and now I want to know which are the other genes which are interacting with it. I just select it, right click on it, okay, and then I go to select and select first neighbors, all right. So when I cl click on select first neighbors, can you see the ones which have been highlighted here? So these are all the genes which uh, are actually having an interaction with this hub gene, right. So this is how it is very easy to uh, know that which all genes are uh, carrying out interaction with your uh, target gene which is present. All right. Um, uh, you can also do analysis uh, for uh, this. Um, uh, you can analyze your network also. In order to analyze your network, you can um, go to tools and you can go click here, which is analyze the network. And uh, when you say, um, okay, uh, this is not a directed graph. So I can click on analyzing the network and when you click on analyzing network, you get to uh, know a lot of information regarding this. You have 44 nodes, 100 edges. What is your network density? All right. Uh, and if you look at your uh, node table, which is below. Because if you look at your node table, your shared names, names, uh, your clustering coefficient, closeness. All right. Uh, it tells you what is the degree. It tells you what is the stress. It also tells you what exactly is betweenness. If you're confused and uh, you really have no idea what do these uh, actually stand for, as I said, you can go back to my tutorial of protein protein interaction network where you will get to know what all these uh, terms really stand for. And based on looking at these terms, based on looking at the degree, you will get to know which is your best uh, hub uh, gene, which are the rest of your, uh, what are your interacting genes uh, for your hub genes. Or, and if suppose, let's say, have to which has a degree of 20 here, which is your CCT4. So if I want to uh, find out which is this gene present in this entire network, I can right click here. I can say select nodes from uh, the selected rows. And you can see that CCT4 has been highlighted, right? So uh, this is how uh, you can um, carry out the analysis for uh, your uh, interaction network hopefully you have liked this tutorial uh, do not forget to like share and uh, subscribe uh, i'll be back with more videos uh, till then thank you very much and take care hi everyone hope you liked the video do not forget to like and share comment on the video below about how you liked it click on the bell icon to get the daily notifications. If you want to connect with me, you can follow me on uh, Instagram. My Insta handle is at the rate Sanket Bapad. I'll be back with more videos. Till then, happy simulating.